Okay, uh, good evening all. Good evening, sir. Right, uh, today uh, we are about to start our new chapter, which is uh, chapter number six, very important chapter. It is about internet. Actually, we are continuing from uh, grade six and seven last lesson, and now we are in grade eight. So we will be discussing the last lesson. So, but before we begin, I just need to check whether you can remember the things that you have learned in grade six. So first of all, so please give me the answer. What is internet? Okay, I'm checking your knowledge. I'm checking whether you have learned and you can remember the things in grade six. So what is internet? Quickly. Otherwise, you have to write grade six. Connecting to a more, uh, networks? No. Collection of a large number of a net computer networks. Collection of a large number of computer networks. Not a very good answer. It is yes, it is multiple networks that is true, but it is not a collection of large number of networks. Cannot define like this. It has a close meaning, but not exactly the same. Okay, I think we need to go back to grade six then. So in case like if you cannot remember this stuff, I think we need to go back to grade six and start learning from that. Right. That was the situation in a single and medium class also. Don't, don't, uh, don't be upset. So like uh, anyway, since you cannot remember the stuff, I'll be uh, going, I'll go, in, I'll go back to grade six and start from there. Actually, today we are going to learn about some more advanced topics, but before we begin, we need to know what is internet. And so what are the things around the internet? What are the things related to internet? Let's go to grade six note. So this note, uh, actually grade eight note, I have provided this to you. This is grade eight note. I already given this to you. You can collect from Ms. Lakmali. And uh, that is for this month and the last month uh, remaining part and this month. Please download uh, that from JIT, uh, sorry, that from the Google Drive. Or oh, if you don't have the link, please contact Ms. Lakmali. And then uh, let's move to the grade six note. I recommend you to come to grade uh, six class also, right? If you can, so please come to grade six also because since you cannot remember this stuff, so I think you better learn from them. They know what are these things. The problem is with you, okay. Internet is basically infrastructure for a lot of services. It is kind of an infrastructure for a lot of services. Infrastructure means one of the most basic or preliminary set of facilities. One of the most basic and preliminary set of facilities, like, okay, think about electricity. Electricity is infrastructure. Why are you telling like that? Okay, just assume like this. You have electric iron, a TV, computer, uh, and a refrigerator, some bulbs in your home, but you have no electricity. Are these things useful? You have all the electric equipments required, but no electricity. So is it useful? You know, like either either a home electric badu thi, you know, fridge thi, you know, washing machine thi, you know, TV thi, you know, computer thi, you know, bulbs thi, you know, current thi, you know. Is it useful now? No. No. Okay. Apni ani petra hi tam. You have power. Then wala the current ka awa. Habe wala either kisi me electric band ya kya me vela be. Bulb be ka kya thi na? No bulbs. No computers, no TVs, no refrigerators, no ions, nothing is there. But you have current. Is it useful? No, sir. Current is not Current is Right? No, because it is not useful. This is internet. internet is not service. internet Right? So we cannot do anything with internet. Internet, but you have internet connection. But no services. You can't uh, go to website. You can't access WhatsApp. You can't access Zoom. Nothing is possible, but you have internet. Again, useless. So let's say, in the other hand, you have WhatsApp application, web browser to look at pages, email applications to watch emails, Zoom application to uh, join Zoom meetings. Everything is there in your computer, but no internet. Then again, it is not useful, right? Internet, if you don't have internet connection, 
having zoom is useless if you don't have internet connection having uh, firefox uh, or google chrome is useless if you don't have internet connection having apple mail or eudora thunderbird or outlook mail is useless so understood what is the infrastructure facility yes sir yes sir right uh, infrastructure facility is basics like if you don't have the infrastructure facility all other services will become useless but if you have the infrastructure facility and no other uh, services then also it is useless so actually infrastructure infrastructure facilities like roads roads with no vehicles again useless so in this road there are multiple vehicles so similarly in this electricity with the electricity we are using lot of appliances similar to that with roads we are using lot of vehicles similar to that with the internet we are using lot of services actually internet provide lot of services example so it provides services like world wide web email instant messengers remote access file sharing teleconferencing these are popular services of the internet actually internet is the infrastructure we can call it a network of networks actually a network is two or more computers connected to wired or wireless media two or more computers if two or more computers connected using wired or wireless media for the purpose of resource sharing and communication we call it a network this is very important term. this is network right this is not internet this is network then what is internet internet is such network of networks it is not collection of network don't tell that it is a network of networks and network is two or more computers connected using wired or wireless media for the purpose of communication and resource sharing actually internet we can call it infrastructure service it facilitate lot of services it connects people and devices we call internet of things and another important thing information added to the internet within a single day by things and people so there are lot of things per day lot of information terabytes of information is generated terabytes of information generated per day in the internet how many whatsapp messages sent in a day do you know do you know how many whatsapp messages will be sent how many photos will be uploaded to the facebook how many comments will be posted in facebook how many posts will be added in facebook how many videos will be added to the youtube can you imagine within a day within 24 hours there will be like there will be millions of videos added to youtube there will be millions billions of photos added to facebook so there will be a lot of comments and posts billions trillions of comments and posts there will be a uh, lot of millions of google searches there will be thousands or hundred thousands of zoom meetings per day in the world so do you think you can access all these things within your life cycle not even within your life cycle like an ekka davasaka vena devala internet ke vaage jeevita kaalema madi etike ginaga so that much of information generated in the internet so lifetime of a uh, average of an average person is not enough to refer to the information generated within a day in this network internet is on by so very important thing it's on by public or we call general public it's on by general public no owner right no owner is there it is on by general public okay please write down this part this is from grade 6 So see how grade six student think about internet, and how grade eight student is thinking about internet. Then we cannot remember what the internet is. Okay, please write down this. Right, the next thing is, I just want to know what do we need to connect to the internet. okay so that is very general question if you need to connect with internet what do you need a device sorry internet connection a device and internet connection internet connection and device is it enough is it enough 
Oh, sir. We need a the search engine answer. Search engine? I'm, I'm generally asking question. So internet is not just web. Internet is, internet is basically web, email, internet provide a lot of services. It is infrastructure and this using this infrastructure, a lot of services. Still, I think you have not read this thing. Internet is not just web, right? Web is one thing. Web is a service given in the internet platform. Web is one popular service, but there are many services. Email is also a service. WhatsApp is a, also a service. Uh, then uh, Messenger is also a service. Remote access, you can see like uh, AnyDesk, TeamWeaver, AnyDesk. These are also services of the internet. File sharing, teleconference in Zoom or MS Team. Right? Those are also services of the internet. So what do you need if you need to connect to internet? Okay, let's say something like this. You can't access web pages, but if you can access WhatsApp, do you have internet? You cannot access web pages, but you can you can access WhatsApp. What do you think? Is internet available? No. Yes, sir. Again, uh, one of you guys you didn't understand the concept. Web services are not working, but WhatsApp is working. Means you have internet, right? Otherwise, how WhatsApp can work? But if one of these services working, so that can be a scenario, right? Okay, web services not working. WhatsApp is also not working. Zoom is working. Do you have internet? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. If one of these services are running, you have internet. So it is not just web. There can be other services. So, okay. So what do we need to access internet? So number one, you need internet service provider, valid connection from internet service provider. That is number one, right? A valid connection from internet service provider. This includes signal, right? Then it was a signal. Signal make it at This includes signals. This includes data, right? Data Data also included. That is why I say the valid connection and valid and working connection. Right? Valid and working connection. So then all are included. Connection from ISP, Internet Service Provider, that you need. A device to access Internet. Otherwise, you can't access it. a device to access Internet. And the third one is special software crafted to access the particular service. Okay. So let's write down this. So grade six students know this. Therefore, you have to be more careful, right? So, okay, what do we need to access internet? Number one, we need, right? We need a connection, valid and working connection from ISP. So only write the English medium note, valid and uh, working connection from ISP, a device to connect, example, you can say laptop, desktop, mobile phone, smart mobile phone, refrigerator. Even smart devices can access internet, right? TV. TV means smart TV, right? Smart devices like TV, refrigerator. Uh, so these are smart devices. Device, not ordinary devices, smart device. Come a fridge name, not this ordinary fridge. I'm telling about smart fridge, smart refrigerators, smart TVs, smart watches. Then, actually, not just that, what you need, you need a service specific software. If you need to access WhatsApp, you need WhatsApp software. If you need to access Messenger, you need Messenger. If you need to access YouTube, you need that software. If you need to access website, you need a web browser. If you need to access uh, Instagram, you need that. If you need to access email, you need email in software. So that can be a service related software, time to time. Different software programs are there. Why do you need that? So please write down this immediately. Then these are actually application, different application software, web browsers. So some students confuse with this Google Chrome and Google.com. Google.com is a search engine, right? Google.com is a search engine, but Google Chrome is a web browser. 
So what is the difference between search engine and web browser? Another question, okay. So just to check whether you, are, you have knowledge in grade seven. Search engine and web browser, what's the difference? The browser is a app that we can get the uh, service that we can uh, get from the internet. Mm -hmm. And so we can get, uh, we can connect to the internet by in a search engine. Mm -hmm. Not a very good answer, but it's partially correct. I can use 60 marks out of 100. Anyone else? Would like to try? Yeah, still you can get 60 marks. That is a good, good mark. But anyway, not a perfect answer. But explanation is somewhat okay. Anyone else would like to try? What is search engine? What is web browser? What's the difference? Search engine and web browser. Yes, search engine and web browser. Yes. Uh, I cannot hear you properly. Can you speak a little louder? A software made to search and store data. Okay, what is that? Search engine or web browser? Search engine, sir. Uh -huh. Then web browser? Web browser. Okay, still not a very good answer, right? I think we need to uh, Yash need what is file information, search engine, yes. So in, yes, uh, in like search engine is as name implied can be used to search content which are unknown. So if you don't know, we ask the location. If you want to search such uh, files and resources, services in the internet, you can use a search engine. Search engine is also a web page. But web browser is basically a software, application software, which is used to display web pages to the users. That is application software, right? So do we need to download search engine? Do we need to download search engine in google.com? Do we need to download? Do we need no, to download yahoo.com? Do we need to download uh, duck.go.com? No. You can directly access. That is a website which is used to search other websites. So very simple. A website which is used to search other websites. No need to download that. But web browser, do you need to download? Google, Chrome, Firefox, Opera? You need to yes. download that. Yes, sir. That is application, right? So, so it is very clear. But the thing is, uh, still, you have doubts. I think you can. You have to write down these parts also. So, what is a website? Website is basically a collection of interrelated web pages. Yes, sir. collection yeah. of interrelated web pages under a single domain. We call it a website. Right? Example: web Google.com. Google.com is a domain name. Under all the pages under Google.com, we can call it a website. Web, basically, web page is a single page. A single document. Then web browser is a special application software. You need to download it and install. Some are coming for free, but still you need to download and install. This is a special application software. But search engine is a special web page or website. Web page, or you can say website, even, which is used to search other web pages. Okay, please write down this part also. Website, web browser, search in, web page. All these are, all these were, they are in grade six, right? That is the pathetic thing. Anyway, doesn't matter. Still you are learning, that is the good side. Still you are, you can learn it. And let's learn it and then learn the content in grade eight, right? First of all, let's learn the grade, the previous grade content and just refresh them. Okay. Right. Uh, 
then you can see here right this part actually so why search engines are used because uh, like uh, search in like search these are examples for search engines google.com .com, bing.com answer.com actually yahoo.com i have not listed here yahoo.com is can also be taken as a search engine but the thing is yahoo.com has more things more features than uh, search engine you can see here trendy news are there and the news messages are there the email is there sign in alerting and advertisement whether everything is there so we call this kind of web page as a portal it is not just a search engine it has many things other than searching so we call that a portal so yahoo is example for a portal web portal therefore i have not listed that under search engine because it is more than that and let's go to bing.com you can see mostly they emphasize the searching facility so actually only the searching but there are other things but they emphasize they highlight the searching facility so therefore we can treat that as a search engine google especially when you go to that page they highlight the searching facility and ask.com when you go to that page they highlight the searching facility right therefore i listed those as search engines but here in ask.com also now it's uh, the portal look is there so there are portal based portal related features anyway so the these search engines are useful when you don't know the url for an example if you don't know the url if you know the resource path let's say you exactly know uh, where is national institute of education you can just put nie.lk national institute of education nie.lk so this is nie.lk national institute of education right nie.lk and that is basically you know the url you know the website web address then you can type it but if you don't know right, do you know uh, what is uh, national institute of india do you know the website name no then you have to search so that is where the search engine comes national institute of education india because you don't know you have to search after searching you can see yeah it, it is n i e p a dot a c dot or insert here delhi they have another one insert dot n i c dot in right then uh, here this is n i dot net dot in another one nursery teacher training and some other things the national institute of education and training n i e t right different national institute for education and research right they have different different versions likewise if you don't know the exact link you have to search and find it. that is the nature okay now let's go to grade 8 not finally we have discovered what is internet we know that now it is basically a network of network a giant network or you can say it is a big uh, it is a in, it is an infrastructure for a lot of services it is network of network and it is the world's largest public wide area network so that is the way of introducing internet world's largest okay the local public belongs to general public wide area network wide area network means it is spreaded it has like it has connection to different geographical areas it is not just the earth even beyond the earth now it is even beyond the earth. why it is even beyond the earth because you know international space station it is in the space is connected to internet there are some rovers in some planets there are some satellites connected to the internet therefore it is beyond the earth and it is beyond the human why now devices are there which are connected to the internet even there are internet connected cattle yeah internet connected cattle like you is it <laughs> just your thing right internet connected uh, not castles cattle cattle 